Okay, so single hand push hands can be practiced without an opponent, and I find it useful to do that. So I'll start with one hand in my center and the other hand in a ward off with the palm facing in. Now, if someone were to push towards me, I'm going to turn like this into a ward off and follow them and pull them back down towards this quad. I don't want to come too far out and put my elbow past side center and affect my position. And I don't want this hand to get lazy. This hand stays. So now when I come back, I come to push and then I turn and let this hand drill into my center. Eyes are level. The body's not going to turn past 45 in this dimension. And that will make me stable. And I hold myself up with my crown point in my eyes. When the push comes in, I follow it in with ward off, and then I roll it up and pull it down and pull down. I follow back into push, and here. So I'll just practice yin, yang, yang, yin. Yin, yang, yang, yin. Defense, attack, attack, defense. Defense, attack, attack, defense. It's really all following. When you're pushing, I follow you towards my center and ward you off and roll you off of that center. When you go to correct yourself and stand back, I follow you back with a push. If you attack and pull me, I let you have the arm but not the head, and I turn and I follow and drill in. And I hold this loose arm up with this head. So these are the four movements of fixed foot, single hand, push hand.